All right, so today on Stoffer Garage, guys, we have a treat. This is a Ford Fusion that's a smoker's car. It's completely trashed. We found some rotten potatoes. We found some rotten apples. We found some mice turds. We found a bunch of crap in this thing that we're going to find throughout this process of removing the entire interior and getting this thing looking like new by the end of this video. So with that being said, subscribe down below. Make sure those notifications are turned on. Thumbs up for some disaster detailing. Let's go and get started. Now I do want to give a big shout out to Seth who helped me out with this detail. He's been helping me out with the channel with Fox Clean, but I am also reviewing all the emails to all of you that did reach out to me to help out as well, and I will get back with you, so don't worry, I'm still looking for more help on this channel. Now I was very happy to find some bottle rockets in the trunk because it has been a little while since 4th of July and to kind of get into the summer mood, I did shoot off these bottle rockets during this detail, but this apple was completely covered in mouse turds. You can find all the little apple bits in there. I mean, this thing was rotted, so it had been sitting in the back of this thing for a long time, which is why I pulled out every single seat, including the back seat bench, and we found a bunch of stuff underneath there too. Now for this rear metal area underneath the seat, and this goes for any panels in your car as well, if you spray them down and you're using your brush to kind of get everything moved off and all that gunk removed, I then use the vacuum cleaner to suck up that leftover liquid before wiping it down with a microfiber towel. And this is a trick that I picked up from Foster at Mad Detailing. This is one thing that I, I learned from them, um, and it does help make it a lot quicker and easier to clean up that area without oversaturating your towel, and it makes it easier work to get it done. Now, like I typically mention in my videos, but I always try to reiterate it for all you guys that are new that have subscribed to my channel, is vacuuming is like 80% of most details. It gets rid of majority of the dirt. It makes your car look like new the fastest and is the best bang for your time, if you will, um, with getting your car cleaned. But here I'm using my foxtail pet detailing brushes that you guys can pick up at foxclean.com. So head on over there after this video to pick up yours today. They're the best pet detailing brush on the market to get that pet hair and any fibers that are loose in your carpet removed from your vehicle. So make sure you guys head over there and pick one up or detailing brushes. And then also I have a bunch of new microfiber towels and new colors coming and all of those drying towels that you guys loved. They will be back in stock here in the next month or so. And then I also have my whole spray line that'll be launched very soon as well. So if you haven't checked out Fox Clean, head on over there now, subscribe to the mailing list, so that way you guys know when all those new products come out.
One thing I always do after using the pet detailing brush is do a follow-up vacuum because you'll be surprised with how much dirt comes back out of the fibers that you couldn't visibly see even after a first round of vacuuming. I always follow up with that second round as well. Now for the floor carpets in this car, everything was completely trashed, even underneath the seats or underneath the floor mats, which were non-existent in this one in particular, which is why they were so bad. So every single one of them had to be extracted a total of two times to get them completely clean to a point where they were just somewhat presentable. They were not perfect because a lot of the dye had gotten removed over time or the carpet was completely worn out in certain spots. But for this one, two passes was the at least the minimum that I had to do to get them to look somewhat presentable. Now in this specific spot, there was a lot of caked up salt and grime, but then also it was worn down to the plastic in certain areas. So using the cone brush really helps with getting into those grooves. But as you can see in these shots, it sprays it literally everywhere, which is why I try to do this portion of the vehicle first. And then I go clean the plastic second, because if you don't, all that stuff gets sprayed everywhere and you have to redo your work. And that's not something you ever want to do. Now, if you are interested in any of the products that I use in my videos besides the Fox Clean stuff, they are listed down in the description box below underneath the Amazon link section. That's where you'll find all the other stuff that I use to get my cars cleaned. I'm not sure how many times this has happened, but I do usually get a comment or two that somebody wants to bet me to drink some of this stuff. And honestly, I don't know if that'll ever, ever be something I consider because the one thing that you guys can't see or uh, understand is how bad this stuff smells in this liquid. It's just, it's usually pure disgusting to the point where it's literally gagged just on smell. I don't even imagine what the taste would be like. No. 
For these door panels, I'm using my all-purpose cleaner, but then I'm using my interior detailing spray to top them to give them that extra shine, that sun, you know, UV protectant, um, just kind of a dust repellent, if you will, and just a nice dressing that doesn't have that waxy, kind of slimy, oily texture that some stuff has. Um, which if you know what I'm talking about, that's Armor All, which I don't even know if anybody even uses that stuff anymore. Um, but this stuff gives it a nice matte, shiny, clean finish um, that I like a lot. It's almost misleading with how dirty these seats are. They're like a dark gray uh, finish, but they are very brown in a lot of spots, and there's a lot of grease, but you can see here as I'm extracting it, the different color combination, even though it is slightly wet in that area and you can't tell the full color, um, by, by sitting it out in the sun by the end of the video, you'll see it's almost like a bluish hue to the actual black fabric. This kind of footage in particular, if you're looking to see it all in slow motion or just average speed with all the extractor sounds, I do have my second channel, Stoffer Garage Car Detailing ASMR. So that way, if you guys want to see all of these shots, you know, slow down and at a regular pace with all the just the regular extractor sounds, that's what's going to be on that channel. So this video won't be particularly up right this second, but I'm trying to catch up all the older videos and get all that content published for you guys to check out. So go on and head over there and subscribe. When using my extractor, one thing I try to do is do a single pass by pulling back on the extractor with the water coming out of it. That's just plain old hot water. And then I like to go back and forth several times in a forward backwards motion with the sprayer going. So that way, one, it saturates it. Two, it also goes in the opposite direction than it previous came to try to suck out the stuff in the opposite direction. Um, it's almost like a way of agitating the fibers a little bit more to make sure you get all of that dirt and all of that you know grease, whatever's on in that seat, extracted. And 
this is the stuff that was pulled from just this one seat. It's a ton of farts, a ton of dirt, a ton of everything you can possibly imagine that comes out of a person's pants. When it comes to any gum or slime or any you know solidified object in your car, one of the easiest tools to pick up and use is a steam cleaner. It has multiple uses inside your home as well. So if you're looking to pick up a steam cleaner, definitely use the link in the description box below for the one I have. It's about 120 bucks or so, I think, on Amazon. Um, but I've had mine for over two years now. Never had a single issue with it, and it does help with getting out a lot of stuff. And it is a great antibacterial and mold and killer. I mean, it does a lot of good and has a lot of uses. So um, definitely check them out if you're interested. Like I mentioned, the steam cleaner is very versatile. This spot right here, I don't even know what this stuff was, but it was, I don't know, some sort of candy or glue or something, but it was caked on here and it took a good while to get it out. But by using the steam cleaner and this pry um, putty knife, it was able to get underneath it, heat it up to the point where it got pliable and then slowly kind of peel it off the fabric. Now when I was cleaning this cup holder out and pulling out the rubber insert, all of the cigarette ash and dirt, um, even though I tried my hardest not to, spilled onto the carpet that just had been clean. Luckily, it easily vacuumed up, but that's kind of like the balance that I have to weigh is do I clean the carpets first or later and risk the spraying from the drill brush all over the clean plastic panels. It's kind of a balancing act and kind of trying to figure out how I feel that day, to be honest. Now, if you do have an automatic car or if you have some sort of chrome shifter bezel around your shifter like this one, they usually pry up very, very easily. And if you have a plastic pry bar tool or if you have a credit card, you can typically get underneath an edge and kind of pull up and it'll kind of pop up, if you will. Um, and it's an easy way to get that piece off and clean underneath, which usually has a bunch of dirt and green, you know, grime or you know, dried up soda or coffee or whatever you drink underneath there. And it's a commonly missed spot to not clean.
Now the final extraction piece for this car is this back carpet in the trunk area, which is probably the dirtiest part of the car. Um, so spraying my extractor fluid on there, using my drill brush to agitate that fiber and get that dirt loosened up. Um, instead of extracting it first, I immediately took it outside to pressure wash it to get that heavy, dirty gunk out of it first before running the extractor for one on the top, but then flipping it over and doing the backside as well. You can see this backside is this foam which is underneath the carpet inside the entire car. This stuff does get soaked up a lot. Um, ideally you'd pull out the entire carpet from the inside of the car as well and I know Foster Mad Detailing is really good about that but based on time constraints and complexity sometimes it's easier just to keep it in the car and kind of you know weigh out your time balance of how long you take to do a detail and how long it would take to remove it as well. So it's kind of a balancing act you have to play. Now on these trim panels that go on the seat covers, you can kind of tell that they didn't look perfectly clean and that's because they were spray painted black. And one thing I recommend is if you ever have the opportunity to spray paint your plastic panels in your car, I'd just shy away from it and try to find the correct ones before spray painting because typically over time it degrades pretty quickly and kind of looks like crap to be honest. And since I didn't get to do the entire outside of the car, I just decided that clearing these headlights that were super, super foggy was one little added benefit that I could do for this detail. So I used my ceramic um, headlight cleaning kit on the outside of this one, and I can talk about this more in later videos, but showing you here the results, it didn't take very long to do one headlight, and these are all ceramic coated at the very end to make them last a long period of time without yellowing, and they really did come out looking awesome really, really quickly and easily. And for the windows, I'm just using my invisible glass reach tool. And then afterwards, now that the car is completely reassembled, I'm using my ozone generator to sit inside the car with the AC running and the car running on recirculation on the inside to try to remove any remaining smells that might be inside the vehicle.
Now, because I know you guys love your mystery goo stuff, um, I went ahead and zoomed in on this certain portion of the coin tray and slowed it down a little bit so that way you could enjoy um, the satisfaction of getting this portion of the cup holder clean. I hope you guys enjoyed these after shots and enjoyed this fusion transformation. Um, this card did turn out amazing by the end of it and the owner was thrilled with the end results. Um, but if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next week.